No. Oh, there's a baby. I was gonna say, no babies this morning? But I see two walking. And I'm guessing that's mom. Little goody. I think we're kind of hitting our lull. Which would be good because I got a lot of cleanup to do before this group gets started. Good morning. <clears throat> oh, good morning. Try that again. Uh, we didn't get as far as we wanted to yesterday getting the milk machine in because my husband is a little bit extra. So he has to like build this elaborate thing. He built the base for it. Um, and I think he's going to, he's building... He's building the back of the cup holders for the nipples so that they can't pull out hoses and it's a whole thing. So I'm making bottles again this morning. We were down at 10 last night to do bottles again. Um, I, I will give you a quick update on those two lambs that we tried to put back with mom. One mom took it that quick. No issues, no questions. The lamb, however, has some issues. The other mom, if we put her in the head catch and get that lamb smelling like her with enough milk in her, she might take it. But um, I just didn't have that much time last night. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm walking into when I get to the barn. Let's put it that way. I know we do have two babies over there. I at least looked there before I came over to the shop. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Like I said, the one mom definitely took that baby, but the baby has issues. It, it keeps walking backwards. It won't really walk forward. Um, when she tries to nurse, she'll latch on, take a couple sucks, and then just drop her head. And then try to look for the teat while she's got her head dropped. I, I just... She's just really not right. Um, she doesn't lay down. She flops over to lay down. I think she's got some neurological issues. So she's still in with mom. They were doing good last night. Uh, she drank quite a bit. And uh, I put her, you know, kind of over by the other lamb so that she'd have somebody to prop her up. Um, but yeah, let me make bottles and then we'll go check to see what we got going on over there. Dude, you gotta walk forward. So mom keeps calling to her to come over and eat, but she won't. So I'm gonna have to try and get her back under there. Baby, you gotta stay up. Put him up. Yeah. It's a good mom. Your baby just can't. So, I got her to nurse. But she keeps trying to go backwards. So, one hand has to be on her bum to hold her from going backwards like she is now. Just continually travels backwards. And, uh, you know, she's always got her head dropped. So the other hand has to hold up her head and basically hold the teat in her mouth because she, she's just got something wrong with her. Yeah, it's okay. I know, Mama. I don't know. I don't know what her issue is. It's not selenium. Because that's a whole different set of issues. I just don't know. Yeah, I know. Your baby's got some problems. We'll try and get her better, but I don't know, Mom. Just don't know. Got twins here. 
and I thought I saw a single running around somewhere because there were three here a minute ago. Well, there he is. Right there. Don't think it can find mom though. So I need to do some hunting here in a minute. So this is where we let off last night. He's built the base. And we got the machine on there, but he still needs to do the wiring and a bunch of other stuff here. And this hole is for those cups to fit, right? The hole is for the cups. So yeah, I think that's as far as he got last night. I think Dudley's going to do all right. Say that again. Things are settling down. We found the mama for two babies. Mm-hmm. We think we might have found a mama for one baby. Well, that baby's going to be dolphin. And those babies are just being born. I call it a win. I call it a cluster. Yeah. Oh, wait. This baby's gonna go nurse. So our bad-legged you had her baby, and Mama doesn't want her. I think we're just gonna have to raise it. I don't think she can. Yeah, please do. So we had this lamb this morning that nobody would claim, and then. Mama had afterbirth. So once she got up, this baby is definitely hers. But I don't know that she can raise it. And then this you that I thought had the twins this morning just spit out her own lamb. So she had stolen two that belonged to this you. So she had two. Saffron had one, and Esmeralda is lambing now. And I'm still trying to get that pen vaccinated and tagged. It's been a day of all boys. We got twin boys here, twin boys here, and then twin boys right here. Gonna have a baby. I think you are. Your water just broke. Is that a heat gun? It is. Where'd you get that from? We've had it for like four years. Oh. It's not a super hot one. But for stuff like this, it'll be just fine. Okay. It's just cold enough that... That those don't want to go on? Probably not without breaking. <laughs> Guess I put them on the wrong end. Oh, remember those are siliconed on. Are they? Yeah, we they were. It was cracked when we bought it. Well, I know it was cracked, but I'm pretty sure you siliconed all those because they were leaking. Maybe. I siliconed them, but I didn't plug the holes. Okay. And we're just setting up the two tonight, right? No, I was going to set up all four. Oh, okay. I'm kind of thinking that we were smart. We just keep this little tool down here to warm our hands up on. <laughs> all right, I don't.
don't like this one. So I'm going to cut it off. Okay, I gave you the knife. I don't have it. Dudley, did you sign up for the snow? Oh, careful, dude. This is uh, not what I was expecting tonight. But it started coming. And it hasn't quit yet. Sister, I think you're going to have a baby. Why do you guys do this just when I'm going to go to dinner? Yeah, really? Hey, Bambi. One baby. Where's your other baby? Is she under you? It is. We got two over here. Boy, I hope they're girls, just to break today's streak of boys. Sounds like I'm yelling. It's because I am. Because she's feeding the lambs and the moms. And my project all day has been to get this set up, which is the milk machine. And it makes milk, kicks it into that little deal right there, stirs it round and round. Then the hoses come over to here, which come over to here, and the babies that are patiently waiting for me to let tell them it's okay. Nurse on those. Today's project was to get it semi set up. I don't know if you remember, but we put this hydrant in in the middle of our barn, kind of in the arena. This is when we hit the power lines because we were trying to get it set up. Anyway, so this frost free goes, has a line that runs to the back of the machine, lets water in. I have electrical wires there, but I didn't get that far today, so I have an extension cord to run it off of. And I only have, I have one wall up, and that and the side that the baby's nurse out of. When I get done, this wall and that wall will be finished. That way we can put heat in here and keep these little tubes from freezing. If they're nursing on it good and you have enough of them, it's not a problem. But if you only have five or six, they don't nurse enough for the warm water out of this box to get clear up to here and stay warm before the next one comes. Plus there's four of these little feeders that stick out that wall. So if you only got four of them, they're only gonna hit it about once every hour. So anyway, that was my project for today. Cause it was supposed to be my weekend off, which it was just not off from the farm. So. All that being said, it'll get finished up as an afternoon, after evening project when I get off of my cushy job. That was a little unexpected. You're not who I thought was gonna lamb. We're still waiting on her to lamb. Oh, please be a girl. Please, oh, please, oh, please be a girl. Wrong you, lamb. The other one's still lambing. Or trying to, but... This one had a baby. Some days you just can't reach for the camera quick enough. So she did have a second one. And the other one, she's got feet poking out, so we'll keep an eye on her. We're trying to calibrate the milk machine in hopes that we can get it running tonight. 